everybody. I missed y'all. I've been so MIA. Not one baby. Not two. But three of my kids, all of them, have been sick. All of my three kids plus my husband have been sick. And it has been absolutely hard. But they're a lot better now. Thank God. And I'm like, you know, um, I've missed making videos. So here I am. And in today's video... I'm going to be talking about double espresso squirrel. I know a lot of y'all were very interested in this video and here I am. I'm very excited to be making this video for you guys. Double espresso squirrel. I've never tried this one. I've tried the double espresso Chiaro and I absolutely love that one. So we're going to see how this one is. I know this one's a lot more stronger than that one, so we'll see. I was a little bit confused because whenever I was looking up all these stuff on the website, well, first I looked it up in the app and for intensity it said 11 out of 11. But then, because I wanted to find other stuff, I went to the website and it said 8 out of 11. I'm not sure which one is right, which one's correct, or why they have two different ones. This one is a double espresso shot and it is 2.7 ounces. The profile is dark and bold. The aromatic note is intense, roasted, and cocoa. This sleeve of 10 goes for $10. And let's see what else they're saying. They're saying highly roasted blend made from Central America Robusta and Arabicas. Its very dark smoky character is enriched by notes reminiscent of cocoa and vanilla. Because of that, I think vanilla is going to go perfect with it. With milk, this coffee keeps its powerful character while enhancing its cocoa notes. That's all they're saying about it. I'm going to make it cold and I'm going to make it hot. We're going to make two different types of recipes just so I can, you know, have it different iced, have it different um, hot. And we'll see. I think I'm going to like it. I love vanilla. I love cocoa and... I think it's gonna be a good one. Let's go ahead and open it. First, I love the simple black with this lettering. Oh, oh, okay, it has eight out of 11 on the box. And for this one, I think the similar one for the, for the original line is Squirrel, if I'm not mistaken, but I've never tried it. So I need to try it and see how it is. And then right here is kind of like a brown color. It's a little bit darker than the Chiaro. I got this one, the squirrel, on a sample pack, but I wanted to go ahead and try it on camera for you guys, so I haven't tried it. I just realized that I'm matching. This one's the Chiaro, this one's the squirrel. A little difference right there. Let's go ahead and go brewer cups. We are back. We have our iced 
drink here and we're gonna try hot and black the crema is a, such a dark color do y'all see that this one i feel like would go great as a mocha so the hot one i'm probably gonna add chocolate to it and for the ice one as y'all saw i added a little bit of this white chocolate sauce i added the alchemy 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 vanilla bean syrup which is right there in that little cute thing <laughs> and i added oat milk and the double espresso whoa that's so hot whoa mm. I love this. I can definitely taste the cocoa notes. It's just so hot. I burned my tongue, but from what from the taste that I could get, I love it. I love the cocoa notes. It's intense, it's bold, it's dark. I love it. It does remind me of the double espresso Chiaro but I think I actually like this one better it smells so good I'm gonna make a recipe right here in front of you guys I'm gonna add I'm gonna make a hot mocha I'm gonna put milk chocolate just a little bit like that I'm gonna add our double espresso shot how are you guys doing have y'all tried the new pumpkin drinks which one's your favorite have you been making any recipes i've been seeing a few on instagram and i love them okay we have we mixed it and now we're gonna add our oat milk to it i was supposed to try it with just milk and i'm just now remembering And I really wanted to try it just with the milk because they say that it enhances the coconuts. It's okay. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna let it, oh, you know what? And I'm gonna put some on top or no. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and I'm gonna try the ice one that I did. That's good. Mm. this is actually really good i love how the espresso holds up its flavor the vanilla bean and the white chocolate go really good together the oat milk everything is great mm. i love this i would give this a five out of five and i love the color Are you so cozy? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try the hot one. Mm. Oh, you wanna say hi? Okay. <laughs> this cutie wants to say hi. He's been sick. How do you feel? You feel better? See? First, I was sick. Yeah, first Livian was sick, yeah. and then Alexander and Roman, and my husband. I'm surprised I didn't get sick, yeah. but we're all getting better. So for this one, I added a little bit of the, I don't know why I always say dark chocolate. The chocolate from Gordali, and the espresso shot in oat milk. I love this, just like this. Mm. I actually love it like this. Uh, I love trying new stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and add This is gonna sound weird, but I'm gonna try my new pistachio syrup with it. Let's just go ahead and do it. 
drink. I've been wanting to try it since I got it. Beautiful green. I saw Coffee and Kay. She's a YouTuber. I'll put her her channel down below. I love watching her. Girl, if you're watching, hi. <laughs> She's so cute and she makes you laugh. Oh, but I saw she was shaking one of her sauces from her mini monin. Like she was trying the season, seasonal ones and she started shaking it. And I'm like, you know what? That's probably a good idea because everything is down at the bottom. And ever since I saw that, I'm shaking mine too because you want everything to be really good mixed together. I really like the aftertaste of this one. Mmm, love it. We're gonna add... I wonder how much this is. We're gonna add two of the lids. This smells so good. No artificial ingredients. That's what I was going to say. It doesn't smell like artificial. It has pure cane sugar, water, natural flavors, sea salt, spirulina for color, some sort of gum, turmeric for color. I can't say that. Xanten gum? I don't know. And I love how all of the monin, they give you a recipe over here. This one. Ooh, whipped cream. <gasps> whipped cream? Okay, you guys. Put it down on anything. I had not seen the recipe on here. It says, combine one half ounce of ounce of monin pistachio syrup, one ounce monin dark chocolate sauce and two shots of espresso stir while filling with steamed milk garnish with whipped cream okay that kind of sounds like my recipe that i just made except a different type of sauce but chocolate sauce pistachio syrup and milk okay this is gonna be really good then mm. I love the pistachio flavor on this. I love... I just... Because with a lot of syrups, I didn't like the syrups because it gave me like a weird aftertaste with the Torani. Maybe I need to try other of their syrups, but with Monin, I feel like it doesn't give me that. With the Macadamia nut, I do feel like it gave me that, so I'm kind of iffy about it. I need to play around with it. But this one is amazing. I love this recipe. mocha pistacho it's amazing all in all this capsule is amazing it is definitely one of my tops and i love it i love it i know someone posted a they commented a recipe and I'm gonna try your recipe. If you have any other recipes that you want me to try, please comment down below. I love trying new stuff and I will try them. Okay. <clears throat> I know that Nespresso just came out with four, five, six different capsules. Five or six, Ooh, seven with the pumpkin. I might be wrong with just one. Cause I know there's <laughs> two for the original line and then four for the virtual line plus the pumpkin four five six so nespresso just came out with seven new capsules for virtual line and original combined and i'm very excited to try those i'm probably gonna hold off just a little bit but i will try those and if there's one in particular that you want me to review please let me know down below and i will review it for you guys and I am so happy because this capsule is a win for sure. I love it. I don't know why it took so long to try it. I think I do like it a little bit more than the Chiaro just because it's more powerful, more bold. And I just, I love powerful, bold drinks. And 
that's gonna be the end of my video you guys thank you so much for watching for tuning in for all your support please make sure to subscribe if you love seeing Nespresso content so you don't miss any Nespresso content that I put out for you guys thank you so much and I will see you on my next video have a blessed and amazing day bye